Hi, this is Worrell from Nevermore. Τη βιγόρ μέρο τρίτων και φαρμακερών, κυρίε και κύριοι, κάτω από το άγρυπνο μάτι του Καϊμακάμι, του Ιωάννη και των Night Watchers. Και ήρθε καλή μου χελπάρε η ώρα να δούμε το Under the Blade του Μάρκ Τρεμόντι. Ο κυθαρίστα των Alter Bridge και των υπερεπιτυχημένων Creed στο παρελθόν, ένα από του σημαντικότερου μουσικού τη γενιά του, μα μίλησε για τα αγαπημένα του άλμπουμ. Και πρώτον, είμαστε πολύ χαρούμενοι γι' αυτό. Και δεύτερον, δεν περιμέναμε με τίποτα τις συγκεκριμένες επιλογές. Για να δούμε. Hey Mark. Hey, how are you? How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I hope you and your family are uh, safe and uh, strong in this uh, pandemic. Is everything okay? Everything's good. Yeah, how about you? Well, Alter Bridge have a new album which is called Walk the Sky 2.0 which is actually a live album featuring songs from uh, Walk the Sky and a new track, uh, The Last Ride. Is this song about the pandemic? Yeah, I know. I think any, any song you put out kind of reflects on what's the current events mm -hmm. and uh, how you're feeling at the moment. So it's just kind of a direct reflection of what's going on. What you already know. Okay, okay. How do you spend the downtime now that uh, you cannot tour? Yeah, it's been hard on everybody. You know, we... Um, You know, the music community, we've all been just completely shut down and can't really do anything but hope and, and, and hope that this gets over as quickly as possible because a lot of bands are in a lot of trouble. You know, this is um, a lot of people's careers are in jeopardy right here. So we've done, done our best to stay busy while we're, um, we can't tour. So I'm, that's why I'm, I'm writing and recording a, my next solo album while I'm off. Miles just completed his solo record. Um, we put together the 2.0 record for the Alter Bridge fans. So we're trying to create as much new um, music as possible while we can't tour. I really liked uh, the video you've done for You Will Be Remember that is dedicated to all the frontline uh, workers uh, these days. Um, you know, our manager had, had the idea of doing it and we got it edited together. And um, just from the first edit, we loved it. So it. it um, You know, it was a very emotional video and we're glad it, it was done so well and uh -huh. hopefully it uh, reached some people and, and uh, put, you know, paid proper tribute to those people that uh, were at risk. Yeah. Well, uh, it's been a year since you released uh, Walk the Sky, the latest uh, Alter Bridge album. Uh, will you yeah. start working on uh, new ideas sometime soon? Uh, it's probably going to be... Uh, It's probably going to be a little over a year before me and Miles get back together on trying to put together some new music. Um, because once we release our solo albums, we'd like to give that a good year and a half of touring. And, and by then, we'll have a new Ultra Bridge record done and ready to record. So, um, you know, we, we just kind of go in between Ultra Bridge and solo projects and try to give them the, the fair amount of time to make them really work. Okay, great. Well, let's talk metal now. Yes, let's do it. What I've got here is a stack of vinyl with some of your favorite metal albums and I want you to comment on each one of them starting uh, with uh, Celtic Frost yes. into the Pandemonium. That's an incredible album. It's um, The artwork was taken from uh, Euronymous Bosch, uh, The Garden of Earthly Delights, which is one of my favorite, uh, rec my favorite paintings. Um, it's... Um, 
you know, it's it was given to me by a friend at school when I was maybe in seventh grade, <clears throat> and um, it's just uh, you know, Inner Sanctum hit me right away. How great that song was! Um, and I think that record had uh, cover of Mexican Radio on it, which was a little different, but uh, Mesmerize is an incredible song. Um, it's just all together. It's a very uh, it's a very artistic record. It's not. It's it's very untypical. It's very uh, deep, and it's got very. It's got a lot of variety on there. Um, I, I just love. I could listen to it for the rest of my life and not get sick of it. Yes, it's a very important album. Well, uh, uh, another one from your list is uh, Opus Blackwater Park. Yes, incredible record. You know of. Um, of all the bands that I came across as an older um, music fan, as a, I was already a professional musician when I came across Opeth, and uh, I, they blew me away. I like them just as much as anything I grew up with. Um, you know, it's very atmospheric. It's got beautiful, it's beautiful. It's heavy, but it's also beautiful. You know, it's got just very emotional um, guitar work and vocal work and, um, it could be as heavy as you'd ever want it to be, but also as deep and atmospheric and moody. And that's what I love about it. It's kind of like a heavy metal Pink Floyd, you know? Okay, now you've got to tell me which one you like the most. Um, well, Into the Pandemonium means more to me because I grew up with it. That was what really kind of shaped me as a musician. They're, I, you know, they're, they're about equal though, you know? I, I could listen to them both. They're, I put them right up. They're both tens out of tens. You've got to tell me because that's how the game is uh, played. Oh, geez. Um, let's go to Into the Pandemonium. Okay, great. Well, what about Megadeth's second album, Peace uh, Cells? Yes, yes. That's uh, that's probably my my favorite Megadeth record so far. So good. So what was my first Megadeth record? But Peace Cells. I think is the is my is my favorite of all the records. I think um, Chris Poland on guitar is just a master. He um, every note he plays is just classic and, and uh, um, just unique. Um, Mustaine's anger is you can hear it in his voice and the, and the mu you know the musicality and the I think they're the kings of speed metal. Well, which one do you prefer? Uh, into the pandemonium still. Okay, I'm very curious to see your answer now. This is Slayer's third album, The Mighty Rain and Blood. Rain and Blood, Rain and Blood. That is my third favorite record of all time. Um, I think it's could be the best album ever for guitar riffs, for metal guitar riffs. Uh, Tom Mariah's vocals are just nasty, angry, just... Uh, evil and angry and uh, uh it's when i was a kid that was a scary record you know that was that was something that i wanted to find the heaviest thing i could find and that was it there was nothing heavier than that record when i found it um when my parents came by my bedroom i had to turn the volume down <laughs> uh so that uh definitely a key record for my my growing up for sure okay okay uh, you've just said that uh, this is a very important album uh, to you growing up so rain and blood all right well uh, what I have in my hands are the first two EPs of Celtic Frost yeah morbid tales and Emperor's return yeah in Europe they've been released separately yeah but uh, in the US as far as I know all the songs are under uh, morbid Tales, right? Yeah. Uh, well, that's yeah. that's my the combination of those two records is my second favorite record of all time. So I didn't know you're such a massive uh, Celtic Frost fan. You know, lots of people call them Celtic Frost. I, I call them Celtic Frost, but I, I talked to I talked to Tom G. Warrior. I'm like, is it Celtic or is it Celtic? He says both. <laughs> no, that record to me is just pure, just. Uh, the moods, the moods they set, uh, the lyrics, the, it's just about the heaviest thing in the world. You know, it's, it doesn't have to be the fastest 
most technical thing. It's just the heaviest, moodiest, doomiest stuff. Uh, when I heard it when I was younger, it just it sunk its teeth into me, and has, I've, I've, I've been a fan ever since. Okay, so what's your poison? Celtic Frost. Okay, okay. Well, uh, let's go to something really big now. Uh, yeah, it's ACDC, Back in Black. Yeah, I think um, that record is uh, the best record, in my opinion, of the second best rock band to ever live. You know, I think uh, I think I think Led Zeppelin is the best, in my opinion, the best rock band to ever live. And ACDC to me is number two, um, and that's the best ACDC record. It's a great comeback. You know, I got to, you know um, I got to perform with Brian Johnson. Um, you know, so that, that was an honor for me. Um, and that record just reminds me of my childhood, and it's just I could listen to it a million times, like again, never get sick of it. Okay, which one are you going to keep? For me, for me, Celtic Frost. Celt Celtic Frost. I saw that coming, I saw that coming. Well, uh, here's another uh, all-time classic, uh, Led Zeppelin yes. <laughs> 4. Yeah, Led Zeppelin 4, you know, that's that's the obvious, you know, that the most uh, popular of the Led Zeppelin records, you know, but it just has some undeniable songs. It's just, you know, um, when the levee breaks and Stairway to Heaven and these songs that I think rock and roll's on there as well, it's just, uh, how can you top that? It could be the best rock and roll record ever recorded. So, um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So what do you think? But for me, personally, listening personally, Celtic Frost. <laughs> okay. Last uh, but not least, Metallica's third album. That's Master of Puppets, man. My favorite, my favorite record of all time. Um, that's it. It's um, I've listened to it thousands of times it's um that's the record that turned me into a music fanatic you know bef before i heard that record i was listening to the beastie boys and i was listening to the jay giles band and whatever was popular on the radio and then i came across that record and um from that point on i've been a, a metal head looking for the heaviest singing i could find and um i think metallica master puppets is metallica at their best and um Every single song on that record is is a 10 out of 10. Okay. So so I guess you're going with Metallica, right? So, yes, yes, Metallica. Right. We have a winner here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one last question. Uh, Mark, a couple of years ago, uh, you visited Greece playing with your solo project. Do you remember anything from uh, that day? Yes, yes. That was uh, opening up for uh, Iron Maiden. Wasn't it? No, at the festival. I remember looking at the mountains in the background. I remember the fans just going absolutely berserk. I had friends travel to Greece to come see us. So I had about eight guests backstage watching the show and they all just were blown away with how passionate the fans were there. Uh, I remember when we were there, that's when the fires had broken out. Uh, and my family was there. My, my, two, my two sons and my wife were there. Um, and I think they got out just a day before all that happened. Um, so it's, it was scary at the same time, but uh, I visited, uh, you know, everywhere I could see. I visited all the classic, um, you know, um, places you could see as a tourist. And I, since that show, I've told my manager, get us back to Greece as many times as possible. That fan base is incredible. And, uh, we will be there every opportunity we can in the future. So, okay, Mark, that was it. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you soon playing in Greece. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Awesome. Take care. See you, man. Bye-bye.